Hello, sim racing enthusiasts. Welcome back to another edition of The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole. And today, we're here to expand on our thoughts on one of the best starter kits for sim racers, that being the Moza Racing R5 wheelbase, along with the ES wheel rim. Whether you're looking for affordability or performance, this combo stands out, coming in at a price of only $448 combined, or available as a combo with the pedals. However, some drivers might find the original 11 inch or 280 millimeter flat bottom wheel rim that goes with it to seem a little bit dated or a little bit gamey being a very small wheel rim. And that's where the ES 12 inch mod comes in. And let me tell you, it's a bit of a game changer for this wheel combo. Mosa has recently released the ES 12 inch wheel mod, which replaces the original rim with a full sized round 12 inch or 305 millimeter steering wheel. And this larger wheel actually caters to or is perfect for oval racing, off-road driving, rally racing, anything that takes going hand over hand and using the entire wheel instead of the flat bottomed rim. It also provides a more realistic car-like feel. Let's take a closer look at what the ES 12 inch wheel mod brings to the table. It starts with the 12 inch round wheel rim itself along with shifter extensions to cover that wider grip, and a sticker sheet with common car control labels. The rim features a semi-ergonomic design with a slightly flattened edge and well-positioned thumb rests, ensuring added comfort during those long racing sessions. It's wrapped in a soft and smooth microfiber pleather, which should provide a wear-free experience while feeling great in your hands. The heavy gauge aluminum tri-spoke design is finished in black and fits perfectly with the ES wheels center hub. Now you might be worrying about the installation process as this is a wheel replacement, not a totally different wheel rim, but worry not, it is very basic and the ES 12 inch mod comes with all the tools that you need to complete the job. You'll begin by removing the small screws on the back side of the wheel rim and then the six main bolts holding the rim to the hub. The 12 inch rim can easily be positioned in the same place. It clears the cutout and the buttons seamlessly. Additionally, the shifter extensions or blocks can be securely bolted onto the existing shifters, providing a sturdier and more substantial feel. But let's get to the most important part, the on track experience. The moment you get on track with the ES 12 inch mod, you'll immediately notice the differences it makes especially in cars that require delicate wheel work. The increased width provides stability, allowing for precise micro adjustments while turning and reacting to the car's suspension. This becomes particularly beneficial in off-road experiences, offering a more natural and comfortable grip compared to the original flat-bottomed wheel. And the best part, you can grab it anywhere on the wheel and it feels consistent. Now, if you're into oval racing, you're really in for a treat when comparing the original wheel to the new 12 inch round wheel. This round wheel really enhances oval racing where small and quick adjustments are constantly required to navigate the very long corners with varying levels of bumpiness. The added stability, the width, and the leverage make those adjustments feel intuitive and effortless. However, it is important to note that this ES wheel mod is designed for the starter level of equipment, meaning a lower force feedback base like the R5. So it might slightly reduce the sensation of power from a lighter weight wheel base. But fret not, because most oval racers prefer lighter force feedback settings, so this shouldn't be a concern. Another slight downside of the added leverage is that despite the strength of the wheel, well, the bottom two thirds that is. Another slight downside of the added leverage is that there is some noticeable flex on the top of the wheel if you push and pull there specifically. Now, why would you do that anyway? Now let's talk about the shifter blocks. These are more than just extensions. They actually transform the paddles feeling. The paddles now feel more substantial and thicker than before. And that provides a satisfying tactile experience. They are also wider or further out, and much like the wheel giving you more leverage, which minimizes some of the feedback. That spring now feels lighter, and so does the click when the shift is completed. 
So again, it minimizes the effects of the starter level equipment. The ES 12 inch wheel mod accomplishes everything that I think they set out to accomplish with it. It replaces that somewhat gamey feel of the smaller wheel rim and gives it a little bit more of a simulation realistic effect and that can add to more immersion when you include the shifter blocks with it. However, in my opinion, this wheel mod is really only for very specific people. It's either people who already own the ES wheel rim and they just want to change it out for the larger one, or it's for people who are on a very strict budget who can't afford multiple wheels, so they're going to have to go through the trouble of changing out bolts to change to the formula mod or to their 12 inch mod or back to the original, and they don't mind that extra work. Or if you're just starting out, this is a good option if you want those multiple options. Or the better option if you just wanted a round wheel might be just going with the CSV2. It comes with more features and it's only $30 more than the ES wheel rim with this mod included. What I love about Moza right now is their commitment to sim racing. Everything from the beginners to the professionals, from the off-roaders to the precision-minded Formula One drivers. It's truly amazing the lineup they put together in a short amount of time. So thank you for watching this edition of The Sim Pit. I hope we've answered all your questions and had good information and made it entertaining for you. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more content. I'd love your feedback on your thoughts on the perfect wheel size and shape. Be sure to put Put them in the comments below and I will be watching for sure. Thank you for watching. This is The Simpit. I'm Sean Cole and I'll see you on the track.